Guys, what's going on? Jeremy LaFrance, Backstage Entertainment. Here with the guys of Farewell, my love. Guys, what's going on? We are doing very well. Very, very well. It's cold. Cold. Yes. Cold, cold here in Lincoln, cold. Nebraska. Cold in good old Nebraska. <laughs> Let's set, give the setting to the fans right now. We we're actually in Knickerbockers in Lincoln, Nebraska, but we we're in front of the chef stand right now in the actual <laughs> venue. Tacos. Exactly. You're going to see tacos, fans right? going in and you know, behind us. It's, it's not some kind of taco. It's actually the hottest tacos you will ever try in your life. It has the legend. 35 cents. 35 cents. <laughs> and, and, it's got, and it's got the legendary. Thank you. It's got the legendary ghost pepper on it. And actually, there's a hotter one called the pry bar. Yeah. Right there. So, hence, dance in the shower the next morning, people. Yeah. So, if you guys see just people walking around us, we're like in the <laughs> middle of the action right now. Yeah, we're in the middle of the venue. But I, t I mean, tell my fans, it's backstage entertainment. I mean, we show people what it's like to actually be at the venue, live the lifestyle awesome. you guys do. Oh, yeah. and it's cool. Exactly. So. We we a bunch of bar flies, you know. Look at us. We 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 in a bar. We like the ambient music around us. We like the people that we are hanging out with. So thank you. Everything yeah. everything's cute. We had ambient music like five minutes ago, but it kind of stopped. I know it. I know. Anything. It's very soft. Exactly. So. Well, now, tell me about this, because I thought it was really cool. Chad, you actually had emailed me, it has been over a month ago, I think, yeah. and you guys were coming to town, and I think it's really cool when bands actually start contacting me, because it's like, wow, they've probably heard of me somewhere. Yeah. Do you remember where you kind of heard Backstage Entertainment or anything? Um, before this tour, because we, we've, we've done interviews in the past that have been, you know, really good and been a fan of them, and, you know, you, you get those interviews where, like, it's really windy and you can't hear anything. So I, I, the goal with this tour was, like, Okay, um, just Google on, or not Google or type it on YouTube. You know, interviews that uh, other bands that we know of have done. You know, and uh, just kind of book all the ones that I felt were just you know really really legitimate and you know had had uh, had a good um, I don't know selection of things that they've done in the past. So. Just a good to be awesome, awesome. So good resume, uh, dude. That's all about the resume, you know. That's right. Exactly. So yeah. hopefully I don't let you down or disappoint <laughs> no, you. Know. No, no, you have a microphone. So the so fact that you have a damn microphone says That's a lot right. about your professionalism and your hoodie as well, which nice. I See? really want. So I'm probably going to steal this off his body today. I have to give it to him. So, <laughs> yes. Hey, so I'm going to hold you to that, dude. But no, wait, it's cold. So I'm going to be lenient. Okay. Next lenient. time. Uh, oh my God, feel the material. It's, yeah, it's really cool. Feel it. Just feel it. <laughs> Just feel the fucking material. It's wow. so it's weird. I know it. It's it it reminds me of my like Adio, at, at my skater jacket I had. Yeah, it's kind of this slick kind of. I, I saw That's it in the book fun. and I was like, well, let's yeah. try it. It stuck. So sweet. Yeah. Nice. I really need one of those. We'll get one. I know what. We'll get one. <laughs> I, I really need it. One day. I can <laughs> send you guys some. Of course, of course, I constantly lose all my shit on tour. You know, I've lost like two jackets, four, four, four jackets in jackets. total. <laughs> I've lost four jackets. I've lost my straightener last night, which is my heart and soul. So, if anyone can give me a straightener JHD, it's the gold version, please. It's like Pokemon. Uh, it's like it's like Pokemon. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the it's the holographic straightener. <laughs> I will I will love you forever. I will give you things that you've never even envisioned in your life. No, Damn you, Robbie. <laughs> it was worth a try. You know fans are going to be like, oh my god, how do I get this to him? I, cause I was looking at some of your guys' other interviews and stuff, and it's like, some of the, so many fans comment, and especially your accent, like, oh, I love him, his accent is so great and everything, yeah. so do you get all the girls coming up to you at the end of the show and be like, oh, I love you because your accent? Actually, I do. You know, there's a lot of people that come to me like, I love your accent, but I'm just like, I don't know why. But, <laughs> but the thing is, you know, back to the straightener part. <laughs> God. Closer to the mic, he gets the more it, sincere this it, is. It, it was a very special sentimental straightener and I lost it in the venue at the Marquee Theatre in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> if anybody's right, hey, yeah. Okay, anyhow. Let's see. Let's um, move on from the straightener. Okay. <laughs> no, let's talk about this though. Your guys' very first tour was on the Brian Stars tour, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. You guys are very good friends of Brian. Mm -hmm. I give credit to Brian He's because he kind of helped us get started and we've kind of watched his interviews. That's how we like to have fun because we kind of yeah. saw Brian was doing it. And Absolutely. Bands don't like to, you know, after a while, you don't like to answer the questions of how did your band name form and where did you guys meet and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We go past that, so the fun part of it. But what kind of effect did it have 
you guys taking part in the Brian Stores, Stars Tour? Yeah, if, honestly, like, without Brian, you know, we wouldn't be where we're at now. He's done a lot for us. His tours have done a lot for us. He's a great guy. You know, he's a really good friend. So we're really happy about being, you know, having him in our life, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I'm, being a South African and coming to the country and being on the Brian Stars Tour, it's so damn loud in the back. Um, yeah, Brian, thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, my bro, this would not be possible. So thank you. I'll see you later tonight. I know you're around, little little blue that was, man. <laughs> sounds like fans will get a little taste of the show now, because here we go. So good thing we have that microphone. Anyway, <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do this. Because of your guys' look and everything, we need to huddle in, I think. Huddle in. Just speak into the mic like this, and it'll work. Speak into the mic. Into, the, into, the, into this? Okay. Because of your guys' look, you get many haters. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I actually got a guy that flipped me off last night. So, guy, back to you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. No, I mean, it, it was expected. It, this is something different, and... You know, whether it's considered normal or different, there's always going to be people that don't like or like something. It's expected. We do it because we want to, we enjoy what we do, and, you know, we're never going to stop, so. And honestly, the way I look at it is, like, I don't focus on the hate. You know, I focus on the love. Like, it's all about positivity. You know, the negative people, they can try and bring you down, but they don't matter. It's all about the people that support you. Positivity is the key, you know? So. I'm gonna have to interrupt the the interview. I we are like a few songs up, you know, like we have to go up in a few songs. Sorry, that's what I want to say. But I need to go warm up my voice. All right. So I'm gonna leave the interview. I'm gonna say to all the fans, thank you very much, guys. We love you guys, and thank you so much to Backstage Entertainment, right? You got it. Yeah, Backstage Entertainment. You guys are wonderful. I leave you to Chad, Kowal, and Robbie Creasy. And thank you, bro. I yes, appreciate no you. Thank you so much. There we go. And guys, that's a good point. You get to see that these guys need to go and warm up. And so if they need to get out of an interview, they get out of the interview. Important. So go ahead. I'll see you at the show. There we go. All right. Okay. You still have Chad and I, though. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> we've, got, we've got the two best ones now, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just don't tell them. Okay. Gold Tattoos is out now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If a fan is checking you guys out for this interview for the first time, a top song off the album you wanted to listen to first to make them a fan? Um, probably Gold Tattoos. I think Gold Tattoos is a great song that kind of captures the whole concept of the record and, you know, will be able to kind of give them a taste of what Feral My Love is. It, it kind of, like you said, encompasses what we're all about. It, it's, it's a song about the fans. We wrote it all about the fans. You know, it was very influen influenced by them. You know, whether it's like letters they've given us and like little wordings that they've written in the letters that we kind of took from it. Um, yeah, but it's a song for them and uh, yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll do a couple of these since we're kind of getting drowned out here. Yeah. So let's do this. The BSC Box. Fans have gotten back, have liked Backstage Entertainment on Facebook, gotten their questions into this and you guys can just draw some questions here. Okay. Who's going to start us off? Come on in. Say hi. Look at there's hi. the man. Hello. The hour. Hi. Hello. How are we doing here? We we're just talking about you and how you guys have how you have changed their life. So yeah, they well, owe you a lot. So I'm pretty grateful, huh? They do. They still haven't paid me the. Uh, the $20,000 uh, ransom that I to get to get him out of that kidnapping they were involved in. <laughs> yeah. Only so. 20000 huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, what did you expect? Yeah. I don't know what that meant, but hi, guys. Hello. Yes. I'm with Farewell, My Love. Exactly. Um. <laughs> now, I mean, Brian, you've, you've been in an interview before, right? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I tell fans a lot that we give credit to Brian because our interview style comes from Brian's interviews, so credit Good again. Oh, Brian. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Well, thank for the you. Past yes. four years. That's right. <laughs> Cheers. Never been watched. Not once. <laughs> All right. So yes. we have the BSC box. Yes, They're we do. starting it out. You've seen it before. You've done it. So let's see how these guys do. All right. All right. All right. My question was, what's the craziest night you've had with your band members? Okay. Now we have this little action part of it too. So one through seventy-five. Pick a number. Uh, one through seventy-five. 
69. 69. While you answer the question, your action. You are using dirty language. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> We're all fucking naked together. And we're all fucking, fucking out, fucking no, fuck, 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 <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Great story, Robbie. Yeah, I fuck. Know. Was that on your tour? <laughs> yeah, I mean, on the on the Brian fucking his stars pussy tour. <laughs> fuck. Are we fucking I'm, fucked? I'm, everyone. I'm talking about territory. like pussies like vaginas. I'm not saying your tour is pussy because it's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, well there was a lot of pussy on that. There tour, was though. so much oh, my pussy. God. Yeah. yeah. So much yeah. pussy every night. Oh man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see what I can get here. Let's hope I don't pull the same one he's pulled. What is? What did your most memorable fan do to be remembered? One through seventy-five. Um. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Answer with one breath. Ooh. Um. We played a show in Michigan and uh. We had like this private like VIP meet and greet thing and then we played acoustic and uh, there were fans that like held up signs saying that we saved their life and stuff and um, it was just a big big day for the band just in terms of just seeing how our music has changed people's lives and it was just a really special, it's in his hometown. So uh, it was just a really great night. It's a long breath. It's a long breath. I feel like that wasn't with one breath. It wasn't, because that's impossible. Cheater. All right. You want to take another shot at one? Yeah, I'll take a shot at one, then I'll, I'll bounce out of here. So here we go. Oh shit, I don't have band members. All right. What happens if you get sick right before performing? Okay, so you were on stage, of course, at yeah. the Brian Stars tour. Yes, I was. Yes, did I you was. ever get sick on stage? I did. Okay. Um, now let's. Have, well, we'll have you pick a number too. One through seventy-five. Okay. Uh, Sixty-three. You guys are all about these sixties. Sixty-three. What did you got? Referring to yourself in the third person. Okay. Well, when Brian Stars gets sick, he powers through like a fucking trooper, and he just, you know, he doesn't let anything get in his way, because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to let. He doesn't want to let Robbie down, because yeah. he knows that he knows that Robbie, Robbie looks up to him, you know, because Robbie's like. He's like 12 years old, and and Robbie needs and Robbie needs a role model, and and Brian tries to be that role model for him. So, yeah. No, but on a serious note, you gotta like, you, you gotta, you just gotta do it, you know. So, <laughs> I'm just trying to make Robbie cry. Did it work? <laughs> I love you, Brian. So, well, guys, it was good to it was good to see you. I haven't seen these guys in forever, so it's good to see you, man. Capturing the moment. Great. Good seeing you too, Jeremy. You too. So awesome. Thanks, guys. Guest appearance, Brian Stars. Bye, everybody. All right. So obviously he's had an effect on you guys a little bit. Huh? He's had an effect on you yeah. a little oh, bit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. So, all right. You know, I'm, yeah. Let's do this because we're kind of getting drowned out. Last message for the fans. What do you want to leave them with tonight? Um, we love you, and we couldn't do this without you. Catch us on tour, on the Decade Tour, and we're going to be touring for the rest of the year. So come hang out, and we'll have fun, and we'll meet, and it'll be fun. We love you. I second what he said. There it is. Once again, guys, farewell, my love. Check them out. Hey, everyone. Become a fan of Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and enter in contests to win autographed prizes from the bands and entertainers we interview. By joining our page, you can also contact us to submit your own questions into the BSC box. And make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to see all of our interviews and backstage footage from the shows. From Backstage Entertainment, I'm Jeremy LaFrance.